Hello guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, we're gonna review Canon EF-M adapter. So right now I'm having the Canon M50 mirrorless camera and I have got this EF-M adapter so that I can use all my Nikon EF and EFS class on this nice little mirrorless camera. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel so that you can check out all the camera and lenses and gear reviews over here. Besides that, you can also get a lot of nice photography tutorials and tips here. You can also follow me on Instagram. All right, let's begin the video, guys. So this nice small adapter, if you buy it uh, new or with the kit, it costs you around 100 US dollar. And it gives you the flexibility to use all your EF and EFS class and the autofocus and the image quality is gonna be exactly the same that would that you would get if you were to use those lenses on a DSLR. And the mirrorless lenses are definitely more expensive, they are smaller. Of course, it is always better to use the native glass, but this M mount for Canon, it doesn't have that many native glass. So this adapter is actually very useful because right now you can see I'm using this 40 mm f2.8 uh, STM lens and this is kind of a very small pancake lens and it is a really sharp lens and you don't get this lens native in the M mount on the M mount I think you have a 22 mm uh, f2.8 uh, uh, lens which is really good for vlogging but this lens is a really special lens very sharp if you want to use the 50 mm f1.8 lens then you can also use those lenses with this adapter because in the M mount you don't have a 50 mm prime lens so all in all you get a really nice cheap adapter and then you are able to use all your cheap uh, DSLR glasses on this mirrorless camera now let's talk about the performance of this adapter well when you are having this on this M50 body it works almost like a native I mean I didn't notice any difference whatsoever if I use the native lens on this camera or if I use this adapter with the uh, EF or EFS class exactly works the same both in the photos and also in the video the autofocus works flawless there is no difference whatsoever if you are you know uh, recording a video and uh, since this camera has a dual pixel autofocus if you are using the STM lens the focus transition is really smooth it takes great images the image quality is excellent as you would get with the lens on a DSLR there is no difference whatsoever so all in all 10 on 10 for this I give 100% marks to this adapter works flawlessly the fitting is really good and this costs around $100 if you get it with the kit but if you buy it separately I think it costs you around 130 or 150 US dollar depending on the offer around uh, uh, this uh, adapter but you can also get a cheaper adapter from Viltrox as well. Viltrox makes uh, a similar kind of a EF uh, M adapter, but uh, the fitting on that one is not that great, even though the autofocus works pretty much the same as this one. But a lot of people who have used that adapter in the past after they put on their Canon glass, so it doesn't fit tightly like it fit on this one. So it is slightly, you know, loose and uh, even the mount, uh, it is a bit loose. So people, if they are using a very heavy, you know, Canon glass, then it might not be a good option. So it's always better to, you know, buy the original adapter. And this one is a very cheap one, $100. I mean, it's, it's a very cheap one. You can always get this one. So excellent image quality, autofocus works great. There is no problem whatsoever if you use this one. If you use Viltrox, you can get great results with that one i mean the image quality should be exactly the same because they are basically changing the flame in this sense but this one would be working better like in terms of autofocus as well and it gives you a better fit if you have a really long you know l series glass then you can use them on this small body as well all right guys if you like the video please press the thumbs up like button you can subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and you can also follow me on Instagram. If you have any questions regarding this adapter or this camera, you can leave your comment down below or you can message me on Instagram. Then I will see you in the next video, guys.